We are back with the Porch Wars, <laughs> where two Tam Fam friends are battling for the best backyard makeover, and maybe we can all get some ideas from what they ended up doing. So they join us now from their homes. Andrea Rappaport is in Chicago, Illinois, and Rachel Sobel in Boca Raton, Florida. Quibi design expert Mikkel Welch is also with us. He's been helping each of the ladies design their backyard dream. So Mikkel, you put a spending limit of $500 on each backyard. What advice did you give Andrea and Rachel on how to stay under budget? For Andrea, I wanted her to focus on that table that needed to be repurposed. I felt like that was something that, you know, paint goes a long way and I feel like we can stretch the budget and then spend the rest of those dollars really focusing on the kids zone. You know, kids are easy to please. You can bring toys from, you know, inside, outside. So that's where I really want her to spend the money on making the kids zone look amazing. Now, for Rachel on the other end, uh, she's quite the opposite, you know, so we're going to remove the toys in her area and really focus on creating a new space plan. Everything is kind of like in a linear fashion, so I want her to focus on how to make that space feel, uh, you know, more structured and organized and add some accents. Okay, so let's see what happened once the work started. All right, we're getting down to business here. He's in charge of opening the box to see what the situation is and I'm in charge of eating brownies. Tell me what I need to do. Just start organizing the, um, the pieces per page. We've reached the portion of putting a gazebo together where my husband now just throws random bolts and screws at me and expects me, ow, to know what to do with them. I just want to tell you that you're doing a great job. I wonder what Andrea is doing over there. We're sanding the table. I'm just going to watch. Very good. Doing a great job. So we have the AstroTurf that is ready to be cut. The table is gold! I can't do this no more. I think we have found our new Lucy and Ethel. We have found the new <laughs> Lucy and Ethel. Okay, <laughs> Andrea, you said you had a few stumbles, a painting mistake. Um, what was the biggest challenge for you? Yesterday, when we had this gorgeous gold table that was wet sitting on the porch, and then this gust of wind came by and blew all of this debris from the grass around us onto a wet table. So we had to sand it down and start from the very beginning. So, you know, little things. Rachel, all right, to you now, because my heart is racing with this. <laughs> you recruited your husband's help. He looked excited to be there. I'll be, <laughs> sure. but the yeah. kids actually took over as you enjoyed delicious brownies. <laughs> How was that? My my kids take over everything. And so when I spoke to Mikel, I told him it was important to me to have some kind of adult outside area because it's my backyard's all about the kids. And within maybe five minutes of everything being put in, they were in there and took over and eat requesting lunch in there. So it's that was a little bit of a challenge. But oh, my gosh. husband was a sport and a great helper. And you know, for us, the biggest challenge was just that the, the structure you'll see was so tall and my husband and I are not. So okay. you know, taking turns, climbing on ladders and getting stuff connected was a little bit of a challenge for us, but we did it. We, we, we did it, we got it done, and that's all that matters.